subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Jeez, oh. all right. This is just as awkward. <laughs> Come back. Don't hurt. Physically can't put it up anymore. You need to put the legs up first. Oh, Jesus, it's hard work. What's up, everybody? So guess who's back? Simon's back. So, Big time, huh? Simon has finally woken up. <laughs> <laughs> decided to come back to work after about six months. Thank you, Simon. I would have came back and just stayed at home. But <laughs> so what we're doing today, big boy, squats. Got some high-waisted leggings on today. Cause because all you guys are like saying about Thomas Bailey, he's got self-conscious and like we've had to get him a like a girdle. And uh it's gonna wow. Well, still the apps though. We are squatting today, so... Second last session before we're in. We're gonna go heavier. We're gonna have some fun. Have some fun. Hey! Ooh, fun! Squat friends! Oh, friend! Oh, friend! Right, let's do this. How's your training, Harry? Yeah, it's going good actually. Um, I had a few days off it uh, over the weekend. Just had a really bad cold that kind of set me back a wee bit, but the numbers are still going up and the weight's going up, so happy days. Uh, yeah, all good. How are you that, Simon? Yeah, buddy. You missed seeing that squat for him, didn't you? Yeah. How's your prep for Bahrain going, Luke? It's going okay, mate. It's uh, excited for the first competition in 2021. Nice to get some warm, because as everybody knows, I'm sure you love it, we've been going swimming every morning, so I'm a little bit cold. My heart has turned to ice, so hopefully Bahrain will warm my heart. <laughs> so much to get these on, man, how you say it's shades, travel aces. <laughs> the shorts. No, oh, like, just pull them out a little bit. Look at that belly! What belly? The tummy, it's like a spring. Oh! Yes! Oh! Oh! Yeah, buddy! Oh! If I had a PB on squat today, it's not impressive because these give you like 40k. So, what are you going for today, boy? A high waisted squat. Jeez, look at that. How am I going to get a belt on? So, we do a comparison. Who do you think's bigger? Tom, I, I think it's pretty obvious here. Look, look at that. Guys, in the comments, what does Herna mean? Do you know what Herna means? Herna. What other comps have you got this week? This week? This year? <laughs> this year. So, we have, so Giants Live is just announced in July. Um, we're going to be starting there, starting those comps. So, I don't know what's first, really, to be honest. Um, so, we're going to be busy with Giants Live from July. Hopefully, Worlds is going to be going ahead in June. We've just been invited to the, what was it, the Rogue Invitational, which is in October. Brian Shaw, the Shaw Classic, back out there. Big Tommy's coming out for that as well. That's in August. Um, so it's going to be hectic. I can't wait for the competitions. And when do you think uh, Harry's going to start his competition? I don't know. Next year. Next year we'll um, probably aim for Harry to do a competition. We'll probably start to doing the lower level ones and then kind of build up because obviously training is one thing and then doing the competition and that's when you really get a, a feel to see how you're, how you're getting on so um, 
At the moment he's doing well, he just needs to keep plodding away. A lot of people chase the weights too quickly, so um, there's no point doing that for Harry. It's just learning the technique. Strongman is very technical, so it's just keep going through that technique and learning to put the squat bar back properly. No, 175, yeah, 25, 25 kilo, kilogram bar. Now this is not a PB, I'm just going to try and do three reps on this, see how it goes. Your belt moved. I know. <laughs> I've never seen that in my life. <laughs> Put these things on that look like me, whatever country they're from. Make sure you do a jobby before because these took about half an hour to get on. And I feel like I'm gonna die. Getting them on harder than squatting, 260. Trust me. Am I? I'm usually fit as a fiddle. Do you think that your uh, belly is getting in the way of your training then? No, uh, right, right, mate. <laughs> yeah. It was getting in the way of the training. My belly is making my training. It's a power belly, it's a keg, you know. I use it to my advantage, bro. So anybody out there that wants abs, bottle your abs, down a bottle of back here and get a belly. Oh. How did that set go, Harry? Yeah, it was okay, it wasn't my, my best set. I've kind of positioned the bar a bit too high up, so it's kind of pushing me forward. Try and work on that the next the next set, see how I get on. Feeling a bit kind of tired today, but hopefully the rest of the session goes okay. What weight is this, Luke? Eh, uh, 305. I believe. Train is good, mate. Yeah. Big belly. Looking spicy. Feeling good. You ready for burying? I'm ready for burying. <laughs> ready. I am ready to burry in. I am ready for them all. We battle off the bellies out there. So who's gonna win, Simon? Can't say. You're gonna win battle battle the bellies. Yeah. You're the only one with a belly that size. See that? I'm a different species than everybody else. That looked a lot better. Yeah, felt a lot better that one. Yeah, um, just positioning technique. That's a big part of this game. Still learning. Still lots to learn. So here we. And is it true that you're doing your first time next year? Planning it, yeah. It's uh, nothing, nothing set in stone there. But this year is definitely just training. Like it's uh, just full year of training. Get all the technique down. 
do like event stuff, practice that, and then see what see what next year brings. I don't know if we will. Just wanted to test it all, but maybe come down and do some reps. So a week on Saturday, that's when we'll be competing. And Bahrain, um, which will be good. Excited to get out there. But um, yeah, just having a little bit of a, a fun session. Nothing too serious today. As soon as it's your first day back in the job, welcome back, my amigo. So guys, we're going to do one more set. 345 kilograms. Is this the heaviest you've been in a while, is it? If I hit 3-4-5, it'll be my PB, so it'll be the heaviest I've been, and it's on an 8 foot bar, and it's wobbly, so yeah, it's a real test of strong men. Come on, come on, let's go, come on Tom, strong squat. Are you happy with that, Tom? Yeah, my biggest one rep match to date. On a eight foot squat, wobbly, jiggly bar. So, and considering that looks like we've been safety squatting the last six weeks and not been above 300, so it's nice to actually know that there's strength there. So, yeah, I'm really happy. Three, four, five for one. Plenty more to come. Stay tuned. You want to talk about your workout today? You break it down from the start. Yeah, well, we uh, had pre workout then we did uh, squats. I worked up to two sets, 175, three sets, 175. Um, that felt quite good. Uh, a bit kind of, the second set, 175, was a bit kind of slow, but um, no, apart from that, we're going to do some assistant stuff now and uh, see where that goes. Squats done. Big heavy squat session. We have got one more session to go till we're in and job done. So we're now going on to leg press. A few sets of that and some calves and then that's us done. Right guys, so we have two whiteboards, no spade spared, magnetic too, it's not magnetic. So what we're going to do now, obviously we've got Bahrain, a week on Saturday we're going to be competing, so we're going to go through the events and Tom and I are going to give you our predictions on who's going to win each event. So, what do you think, winner or top three? Winner. Winner only. Does that confuse you? Please. Event number one, death by deadlifts, who's going to win? Three, two, one. What did you like? Tom. Oh, I don't, not Tom, maybe JF. Oh well. So Be confident in yourself, boys. I think JF, because JF is strong. I would say I think JF, he's the best deadlift there by an absolute probably country mile. But I believe in myself, so I'm a Scottish man, I'm a Highlander, and I'll fight. So Tom Stoneman. Do you like my drawing? So even you even though you think JF Caron is the best deadlifter there. You still think you're going to beat him? Event number two, dumbbell press. Novikov. Oh, same. I put some kisses for him. He's a world record holder, so he should. Uh, he's got 11 reps in it, didn't he? Even 11 lose. reps in seven So he should, seconds, yeah. he should be beating that. So Did he spell his name right? Novikov. Oh, he did the dumbbell thing. Yeah. It's good, though. Jeez. This pain is. Novikov, I hope you like it. That one's for you, Novi. Event three, loading. Three, two, one. I put two choices. The Stoltmans. Oh, there we go. I put me, crossed me out, and then said Tom. 
So yeah, near Tom. Thing is, I don't think anybody here that's has done loading with a stone in it either. So it's going to be interesting. So, mystery event. So it's a mystery event. Isn't oh, it? mystery. Three. I don't know. Eh. Two. One. Any of the twelve. I just wrote me. <laughs> because I'm a mystery. I'm a wizard. Because it's a mystery event. Do you know what it's going to be? Nope. Did you just ask that question, sir? <laughs> if you can have a guess at what the mystery event is, what do you think it's going to be? Um, well, farmers. Yeah, I think it'll be a farmers for distance or some sort of yoke. They've had yoke in every single woos so far, so I think it'll be some sort of yoke. Or log press for Max. I log press for I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that. Either. Stones. Who's going to win the stones? Should I be really cheeky and put someone that wouldn't ever win stones? <laughs> Three, two, one. For the cracker. What did you put? Blue stone. Ah, oh, I put Tom. Oh, look at that. Ten stones. I think it's one twenty to two twenty, something like that. I'm the world record holder. So that's all you got to know. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Tom's basically got every world record and any Atlas stone there is. So it'll be the Tom Stoltman Atlas Stone Show, and then who comes second. So. That's what she wrote. Yeah. Hi guys. Hi like they done, bruv. We're all feeling spicy. We're all feeling jacked. We're feeling buzzed. We're feeling amazing. We're blessed with cold water. It's in our brains. We love it. But anyway, legs done. Thank you guys for watching. Harry. Doing good? Yeah, doing really good. Look, yeah. you're doing good? Yeah, I just, I want, can I just take a minute? Oh, oh sugar, sorry. Absolutely. Luke's just wanting to take a minute to, uh, for certain, Let very speak. Sorry, can I speak? Yeah, I'm sorry, I'll I'll you, uh, speaker. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to say, so we had a wee delivery, say we, it was an ar Arctic lorry, full of wood, about 27 tons of wood. So a big shout out to Monroe Forestry in Dingwall for arranging that. Our dad is buzzing. He can't stop laughing, so that'll keep us going. Firewood for probably the next three years. Three years. Keeping so us warm for three years. Big Tommy's. There's a few big logs for Tommy. Thank you to the forestry, mineral forestry, and Dingle Matthew. You're the one. You're the star. Thank yes. you very much, mate. Much appreciated. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Smile. And stay spicy. And don't forget <laughs> to <laughs> ring that. Little, Little bell. bell. Ding ding ding. Ding dong. Ding ding ding. Ding ding ding. Oh, ding ding.